We are T minus three minutes from understanding that an SNK character, Terry Bogard, will finally be an assist trophy in Smash. I can't wait. I think it's gonna be amazing. Oh, f you! Show me the mean streets. Uh oh. There's gonna be. Is it gonna be a playable Wii U and he's gonna be the lowest tier character in the game? <gasps> oh my fanning! <laughs> oh my fidak! This is- he's gonna be the sickest assist trophy I've ever seen. This bitch is gonna be the sickest assist trophy I have ever oh. f seen. <gasps> no f***ing way! No f***ing way, dude! Look at what we're- what are we f***ing looking at? Uh... Oh my god, this is- this is f***ing incredible! I'm drooling! This is incredible! Holy shit! Oh my Manning. god! <laughs> it's like all the SNK characters are trying to grab the damn smash invitation. Oh, Iori, I'm sorry, you're not gonna be the one, dude. You wish you were. But oh no, that shit is squirrely. <laughs> This is okay. incredible, dude. This is one of the greatest trailers I've ever seen. Lands into the hands of Rock Howard. Fit up! Hey. <laughs> oh my! Oh my god, what the f oh. are you looking at? What the f are you looking at? Oh, Jesus. To be released in 2023. Oh my god! What the f*** am I looking at? He looks like- that's in the- that is the- November. Alright, he comes out in November. He has the best looking assist trophy I have ever seen! They put so much effort into his, him as an assist trophy. <laughs> We're happy to confirm the development of more DLC fighters for Super Smash- Of course! You like money! Outside the five fighters included in the Fighters Pass. We can confirm that other new fighters are in development. The battle isn't over yet. Of course! Of course you're gonna have another season! Of course! You don't dislike so, money! Holy shit, dude! Regarding they stuck Terry in Smash? Smash Brothers made Capcom vs. SNK 2 happen before Capcom and SNK did? Holy god! It's I mean, I'm still happy. I'm still happy. But what the hell, dude? That's insanity! Yeah, Bandai... Bandai Namco... Who makes, who makes Smash? Sorry if I'm talking over Zelda. Bandai Namco, who makes Smash, literally made two Capcom vs. SNK games. Tekken 7 has Akuma vs. Geese. Smash Brothers has Ryu and Ken vs. Terry. This is ridiculous, dude. Oh my god, dude, I hope Terry gets his Gaoro costume. That way, your friends That was probably one of the best fighting game trailers I've ever seen. Zelda, I'm not even- I'm not even kidding you. M not even to mention that Geese's trailer for T7 was also incredible. Talk about a game, and this is what I've been saying for the longest time, talk about a game that loves the shit out of its characters, it loves the holy shit out of its history, and you feel that, like, when you watch any of the marketing, any of the presentation of the character, it just loves the fact that we're bringing back this mother from this system that eight people owned, let's go! God Damn, an entire half of the world is blowing up, and the other half is like, what the, what's an SNK? Like, I, dude, we'll show you what this shit is, and, oh, I love it, man. I love it. I love this trailer. Dude, geese falling off the building, jumping after the smash invitation. Holy hell, what a great nod. I really thought it would be Halmaru. Like, Halmaru actually is going to be on Switch soon. Terry has had games, of course. Fatal Fury games have been on SNES, and... You know what it might have been? Holy shit, dude. You know what it honestly might have been? All those SNK games dropped on the eShop at the beginning of the Switch's life cycle. And apparently they did ridiculously well. People bought, bought those, like, old KOF games, they bought the old Fatal Fury games. Like, those, those, like, individual drop titles apparently sold ridiculously good. It was one of the things that made SNK start putting more games on the Switch. I imagine that that was a thing that started the conversation. I'd imagine it is. 
Or it's like, hey, people still like SNK games on your system. Let's let's do this. I'd like to show you just a little bit of in-game footage. Of Here you go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I would like to see this. Oh my God! He got a KOF stage. <gasps> Rio's hanging out back there. Barn knuckle. Okay. Was <laughs> announced. And ultimately, that means that there will be an even greater opportunity to delight the fans. He loves this guest character shit. At the same time, I feel that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is now representing so many characters in game world that it's become an enormous game. Even if the Super Smash Bros. series continues moving forward, I doubt there will ever be an opportunity to bring this many characters together again. And so I want to keep improving on this record as much Smart. as possible. We don't need a new Smash game. And I will continue to work hard at developing the game. Just keep adding. Just that's what we said earlier last week. I appreciate just keep adding more of this. That's it for today. Thank you very much. Bravo, Sakurai. Bravo. Goddamn, the, the Smash renditions of these old fighting game characters are just mwah. like. Ken looks better than Ken literally ever has in 3D. Like, I'm not even kidding you. This is one of the greatest trailers I've ever- one of the best reveals like I've ever seen. Just... <laughs> hey, come on! Oh my god. <laughs> the star in the background. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, man. Well, you can't, like, Terry is Mr. Mr. SNK. I cannot even- I can't think of any other character. I can't even think of any other character that, like, represents SNK than Terry Bogard. Like, he is- he is the- he is the Ryu of- of SNK, in my opinion. I mean, some people would say Kyo, but I don't know. I think- I think Terry has, like, reached a level that he's more identifiable. I mean, someone- you'd say Mai, you'd say Kyo, people would say Iori. Terry's like the poster boy, though. So, people would uh, people would also say Chun-Li for Capcom, but it's obviously, it's Ryu. Like, Ryu's the one that they... He's like the front and center of everything, you know? He's on the front of the box. So, are they just not gonna be adding in more Nintendo characters? I think they're... Are they just done? They pretty much put everyone in, unless... Unless people were really pissed off about Waluigi not making in. The way he was describing the next wave of characters that they were going to have made it seem like... They want to add more worlds, they want to add more characters, and more characters from different worlds. So it almost makes me think that, yeah, the future stuff that's going to be coming out is going to be more guest characters. It's going to be more stuff from other games. It's going to be Sakurai using the clout that he has in the industry to pull shit in from other directions. Because this all really started with, like, Sonic the Hedgehog and Snake, and then technically plateaued when, when Cloud was in there, and once Cloud was, like, Oh shit, Cloud can make it in? Blah! Like, now, now, like, free range, dude. Shit is just anything can happen type stuff. I'd be, uh, I'd be happy with Fulgore. Depending on what gets announced at Tokyo Game Show, if not near the end of the year, that final challenger most likely could be a Monster Hunter. Because Capcom has been, and it's been known for a long time, working on an exclusive Switch Monster Hunter game. I think after Terry Bogard has showed up in this bitch, that Sub-Zero is a possibility, okay? I'm still holding on to that shit. After Banjo now, and oh dude, I think Sub-Zero could show up in Smash. I honestly think so. I know shit think that could still happen. Based on how crazy this shit has been, how weird would it be if Sub-Zero He's not even Challenger Pack 5, just one of the future ones, if he ends up being one of those characters. I don't even think that's that weird at this point. Look at this shit! It's not weird! I think th this is fucking amazing, dude. I'm excited. Fuck, man. I'm ex I'm excited as shit. I just love it that... You get to be Terry and Ken. And you know what? I'm probably gonna like Terry a lot more, because I'm not a huge fan of the way the Shotos play in Smash. I like- I like all the crazy implementation and stuff they did, but just piloting Ryu and Ken in Smash Brothers with its mobility, I'm not a huge... I'm not a huge fan of the way, uh, Ken and Ryu kind of play in this game, even though they're probably very good. But Terry looks like he might be a bit more... I think Terry might have some... some moves that might be a bit better conditioned for a Smash Brothers game. Just because some stuff see, feels like it might actually work a bit better.